the bullish bearish three method formation candlesticks. And this method is a bit more complex than the others because we are using, we are looking at a five day range for the pattern. And for the introduction of Japanese candlesticks, uh, they are used to represent what numbers they're not. It is solely for the purpose of the human eye to comprehend and to use it for the ease of looking at patterns only. And the green candlesticks represent the higher closing and the red is the vice versa. With uh, enough candlesticks, we can formulate patterns that eventually lead us into predicting the predictable stock market. And for the three method formation, out of the hundreds or maybe thousands of patterns, we thought that this was the most intriguing. It consists of both, both bullish and bearish cases. It is a complex pattern that requires multiple candlesticks to align that makes the pattern itself. The three method formation is a continu continuation pattern, but we altered it a bit so that it can go either way. The pattern consists of five candlesticks, but there are cases where the, there could be more. For our purpose of the pattern, we only decided to go with five candlesticks. So first I'm going to talk about the bullish pattern. <coughs> so bullish, in the bullish pattern, as you can see, uh, it's two big green candles. Oh, my name is Bino. <laughs> my name is Bino. So I'm be presenting on the bullish case. So as you can see, like for the bullish case, we have two large green candles with small three candles in the middle. Like as you can see in the it's following a counter trend pattern. But for our project, we, uh, we decided to remove it. So like it doesn't actually need to be a counter trend to make it more easier. So, but it has to be range from the high price to the low price, so it should be in between that. So when we see that pattern on the sixth day on the opening, we that's the entry point of the pattern. So as you can see the methods. So F is the first candle, the first long green candle. Uh, P is the closing price. That's the candle before the first candle. So as you can see, the length of the F should always be 25% more than the previous price. As you can see, others, the high of M1, M2, M3, that's the small candles, should always be in the range of the first and the last candle. And the low is the same thing. It should be greater than the low of the first and the last candle. And the L length, that's the length of the second of big green candle, it should be kind of identical to the first long candle or like almost like 80% of the first candle. And the entry point is the <coughs> opening on the sixth day. Stop loss is the minimum of the lows of the first and the last candle. And take profit is entry point plus two times entry point and stop loss. Okay. Um, this is the bearish, which is basically the opposite of the, uh, the rising I mean the, the bullish version of the um, three method formation. Um, I mean for our project, we have to decide whether it's like um, like what the parameters and what the rules are for the for the candles in general because we have a lot of candles. Um, the main issue was the three metal candles, which we weren't sure whether we wanted to have like um, a set rule of because the basic rule of three metal formation is um, like the, a counter a counter trend um, uh, the first middle candle should be a counter trend and the second one should like it could be anything a counter trend or a continuation um, of the big two candles on the sides so, and then the third candle I mean the fourth candle the third middle candle um, also has to be a counter trend of the yeah, two big candles so um, at the end we did both results because um, for the more stricter rules like we found less um, patterns out of them obviously so like really, really small because this already is a pretty rare um, pattern. So, um, I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's, these are all the um, first. The first big candle has to be bigger than the uh, the previous and the previous closing price. The two point five percent of the previous closing price, and uh, yeah, basically, it's basically the opposite of what you said. Um, this is an example of uh, the three metric formations and the 2008 financial crisis. And 
Yeah, as you can see, this is the bearish case. Like you can see two big red candles here with three small uh, candles in the mi uh, middle. So now, it's since it's bearish, it's following the downtrend. From 1200, it went all the way down to like 870 or 875. So that's like a perfect example for our pattern. Um, another issue with uh, basically the results we did with EA because um, the program that, I, that, that we wrote, um, you can only put one CSV inside and then like switch it out every time you want to do, which is like not optimized, which I want to change. But um, anyway, uh, <laughs> it's the dream of information is one of the oh, yeah, that already. So you have the results. Yeah. yeah um, the results. But this is the non-linear one. This is why we try to change the rules a bit because we found um, in the EA from um, 2007 to 2017, we only found nine bullish cases, um, both continuation and reversal, and um, bearish cases was only five. So we try to like change it, but for now we only use the the non-linear case because for the lenient cases, we like like the middle candle doesn't really matter where it is, whether it's a, a counter trend or like. Reversal, or I mean, not reversal, but like, uh, there's like less rules involved. Um, yeah, it's not a reliable candle, like I said. Um, like sometimes, oh, what we got for um, the continuation for both bearish and bullish was 64%. That is going to be continuation, so like it's really not reliable that much because you don't, yes, yeah, it's just really low. It's good, okay, because online I also found um, other results. I was reading up on it, and like some common cases was like the general point was like seventy five percent for for continuation. <laughs> so it was a bit low, and we also found like low results. So I wanted to change it. Yeah, okay. and then um, okay, go back. psychology behind the pattern is like why it happens is that the first candle is when like, um, people start buying uh, like a high volume of stock and then the three middle candles is when like you know people buy too much and it starts like coming down as like the uh, and then and then um, the people who buy like long stocks like um, when they want to buy high no wait no Buy low, sell high, <laughs> and then after that point, three middle candles, and after that, um, gradually like evens out the uh, like yeah, exactly, exactly, because the price is falling. Everyone wants to like you know get back on because they're expecting a I mean a, a rise. And so that's what the the big candles. Yeah. That's where the, like the uh, pattern arises. And usually, what we found is that the break after the breakout price, like after the uh, candle formation, like um, whether it's continuation or reversal is like um, unreliable. What, what, why is it unreliable? What's your definition? Like, um, it's not consistent, whether it's a continuation or a reversal. But you said 64% of the time is right. Yeah, continuation, that was a continuation. Oh, so what about on reverse? I mean the other 40%. Huh? 40, yeah, 40%. I mean 30, 30. Yeah. Anybody have any questions? Okay, thank you.